So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I showcase to you how you can get the amazing, well amazing looking Vikes Dragon Bolt Incantation as well as this pretty cool looking fingerprint armor set. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So looking cool guys, it really just checks out the actual incantations pretty cool incredible looking that is incredible i'll explain in a second what it actually does and then how you get these but first let's check out the armor because i know a lot of people are really interested in the armor in this game which isn't a surprise i mean it looks like something you yeah, might be interested in i mean it ain't gonna suit everybody's needs and everybody's build needs but you know but hey in a second i'll show you exactly how to get this but for me this video is mainly about this incantation now it's called a vikes dragon bolt um it costs 35 yeah 35 fps to use it's 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 wow i mean just i think to be honest for the work you need to get this thing i'm not sure it's anything special I mean the electrify armament is basically the same thing, this is just red <laughs> and it looks cool like this but other than that what it does offer is a, a 0.75 times of uh, incantation scaling as extra lightning damage but yeah and it also grants a 50% increased equipment load so I mean it may be for somebody out there, it may just be for somebody out there I and mean, it does look cool as heck what i have noticed is guys if a weapon say for instance already has an ash of war on it you can't actually use this actual incantation so for instance as you can see here it's on my my fang you can see it's perfectly fine but if i switch to this weapon which already has an ash of war on it built into the weapon you can't use it you see it goes grayed out which is you know you should really allow them to stack um, you also need to need to have a seal equipped as well guys, a lot of people get confused about that with some incantations, you need a seal, you need to have it equipped before you can actually use it, a staff won't cut it guys, a staff won't cut it, but yeah, although it looks pretty cool, uh, and it may be something you may be interested in, so yes this is how you get it, so, right up the top of the map guys, right up here, within the mountain tops of the giants we have this, a Lord Contenders Ever Jail. Now within here there is a a boss called the Round Table Vike who upon you going into this and killing him you get this gear. Now to get up here guys you obviously need to have uh, the Grand Lift of Road Medallion and you get that via defeating the Omen King who is located around there. Before him you have to take out the Phantom Godfrey and there before him you have to work your way around here guys and you need the Dectus Medallion to even get up into this area. So Dectus Medallion first, search YouTube for a guide on that, millions out there. Then come up here, work your way around the capital. You'll come to Godfrey, then the Omen King, take them out, you'll get up to the Forbidden Lands. You'll get, then gain access to the Grand Lift of Road. Make your way up here, guys. And then straight to this. And there we have it. Uh, you'll see on screen now the actual boss battle. It's, to be honest, it's really easy. I mean, it's probably one of the easiest ones of these, these ever jails I've ever done. <laughs> So yes, I mean if you want this Vikes Dragon Bolt and the fingerprint armor, which I think is probably more appealing to a lot of people, then this is where you need to go to get them. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.